What is up guys, Tony here, and today we are doing a video talking about the EVGA Precision X software and overclocking a GeForce GTX uh, GPU. Uh, I want to thank Barnacles for giving amazing videos on how to overclock your GPU using the Precision X software. Uh, he has very helpful videos across the board. I've been a huge fan of him for a while. Uh, if you guys want to go check him out, his link is in the description. He has some awesome videos about gaming computers and just a bunch of nerdy, awesome videos that are really fun to watch. So go check him out. Awesome guy. And uh, today we're going to be talking about overclocking my GTX 670, which is very lonely, but soon it'll be triple SLI'd down the road when I want to do NVIDIA Surround, which will probably be in January once I get uh, paid. So here we are on the Precision X software. I have a default clock running right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you the benchmark for the default clock. We're going to show you some temperatures. We're going to show you the fan speeds. And I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, Heaven DX11 benchmark, which is pretty much the state-of-the-art benchmark for GPUs nowadays. And I'm going to give you guys some benchmarks, and I'm going to compare it to my overclock temperatures, which are under my profile. If I can click it, it is not letting me for some reason. Let me see. It's not letting me do it, but my, my uh, usually what I keep my overclock at is about 750 megahertz and then about 40 GPU offset, which I cannot hit for the life of me. Hello, come on, there we go. All right, let's go down a bit more. And then of course the power tar target's maxed out. You always wanna have that maxed out. There's no reason why not to do that. And uh, that's usually what I keep it at for the overclock. Let me save that as my profile real quick. But we're gonna keep it at default right now and we're gonna go ahead and run this benchmark. Uh, we have it at maxed out setting. Go ahead and let this run on the benchmark, and I'm going to come back with the results in just a moment. Still running the benchmark here, but it, I think it hit up to 100% now, if you can hear that. It is damn loud, but we're about halfway through the benchmark here, and it looks like we're getting about 66 frames a second with a max of about 94, but we'll get the official result here in a second. And there it is. We got a 68.5 uh, frame rate per second at average and 150 max. I've actually, this is the highest I've seen from it at default speeds. I've seen it go as low as 60 and 145 max. So this is actually a pretty good speed for default. I'm actually pretty impressed here. And now we're going to go ahead and switch over. Let's hit close. And we're going to go ahead and go to the clock speed that I've messed, I've messed around with a little bit earlier today. And I found a very stable clock for the RAM and for the, uh, for the GPU. I have it under profile 1. And you can see it right there. 100% uh, power target. We're actually going to boost that up. I don't know why that's at 122. And uh, we're going to save that. Uh, but yeah, 121 power target. GPU offset is 50 megahertz. I couldn't go any higher than that. I think it was just way too hot. Um, and I got the memory at 750 megahertz overclock, uh, which is actually where most of the frame rate is coming from. The GPU overclock, even at like 80 megahertz when it was a little unstable, wasn't I wasn't seeing much of an improvement. But the memory, it's crazy the improvement you get. So let's go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to show you the fan curve real quick. This is the fan curve I got going on. So basically, once we hit about 45, or is that 50? 50. No, it's 40. And once we hit 40 uh, degrees Celsius, we go up to 60% fan speed. Once we hit 50, we go to 70. Once we hit 60, we go to 80. And we hit 100 once we go to 70, because I think anything over 70 is a little bit too much. And I think that it should be running at 100%. And that's usually when I'm gaming really hardcore. So it's only probably 50% of the time I'm using the machine uh, that I'm using that much GPU power. Uh, so we're going to okay, go ahead and hit OK, and we're going to pull up the benchmark again here, and we're going to hit Run, and we're going to benchmark this 750 megahertz uh, overclock on the RAM, 40 megahertz overclock on the GPU, and we have the power target, of course, a little bit higher at 121%. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and let this run, and I'll be right back once it's done running the benchmark. Now I'd like to note that right out of the start, right out of the gates, we're already seeing over 70 frames per second, uh, and usually in the beginning of this benchmark, we see the lowest numbers. Towards the end, you'll see your highest numbers. And the fact that we're getting almost 80 frames per second here, right at the beginning, that's a good sign. So we're going to go ahead and let this run a little bit longer. We're only at stage 4, and we'll see what we get at the so end. So there it is, 79.1 frames per second on average, and 169 frames per second at the max. 
This is a, about a 13 frame per second improvement for a simple overclock. We are at stable temperatures. I'll show, you, I'll show you the temperatures in a second. It's still running in the background, so it'll probably keep it about the same temperature. Um, and, of course, this is actually a little bit lower than usual. I've seen it go upwards of 84 frames per second on average. And I've actually seen it as low as 165 max. So this is, of course, fluctuating a bit, which is expected with these benchmarks. Uh, there's always the oddball of a quick frame drop that lowers your average or there's always the oddball of a sudden just increase in frames out of nowhere where you get some crazy number for the max. Um, and of course the temperature looks like it's going upwards of about 60 degrees. I mean I'm seeing that the, the clock kick or the clock, the fan kick up to about 100% speeds on and off. So it's usually staying around 60 to 70 from what I could tell. Which is uh, very nice to see. I think that's a good temperature range for a stable uh, overclock. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank Barnacles for uh, explaining to me how to use the EVGA Precision software, giving some tips on overclocking. It was very helpful. I've always loved his videos. I think they're awesome videos. You guys should go check them out. Full endorsement. I guess I'm sponsored by Barnacles in a way, um, but he has awesome videos. Go check them out. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, overclock I'm getting stable on the 670. I'll have the triple SLI videos coming in January. And probably I'm going to upgrade the system a little bit more and maybe get an SSD uh, RAID for recording when I record video games on the system. So that is pretty much it. I am Tony. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, go ahead, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.